Hey guys, welcome back. In last lecture I was talking about functions, in this lecture I'll continue and I will explain you basics of our web application, so I will explain you how our application is working, how it's possible that we can run JavaScript code and how it's possible that we are displaying something in our browsers. Let's start and we will start very practical, we will create a new file. So let's open your calling editors, I will open my sublime text and it's opening on my other windows, I'm sorry, I will just make this smaller and I will get this file here, perfect. All right, let's save this file, so let's find your file, save as and let's choose your path where you want to save this file and actually I will save it on my desktop, all right? And let's call this file simply index.html. Okay, so HTML like this and let's write it HTML and let's press here tab and this should autocomplete for you. If not, you need to write it manually. So please write it here and continue video when you are ready. Okay, so here is a first tag and it's saying that this HTML is version five. Then you have a basic HTML tag wrapping all your document. Then you have a head tag for SEO tags, for meta tags, for styles, JavaScript uh, code and so on. Then you have a title. In a title, title we can write something, let's say, uh, my example HTML. Perfect. And uh, body. This is very important. In a body, you are displaying content of your HTML website. So let's say you want to display here H1 like this. All right. H1 closing tag. And let's say my example HTML or my testing, my testing website like this. Okay, so this is most basic example. This HTML document, so hypertext markup language document that the browser understand. When you will provide this document to your browser, browser will read it, parse it, and it will display content inside of your browsers, okay? So it will parse it and it will display content. I'll make this smaller and you should file, find this file inside of your desktops, on your desktops. So please, let's search it up on your desktop and I have it here so you can see index.html. I will open here a new tab and I will just simply drag this on top of my browser. So like this. And you will see my browser will open this file. So I told you browser understands HTML and you can see here it's displaying everything inside of a body of a HTML. Okay, so you can see here my testing website. Then I will make it actually bigger for you and uh, let's right click here on, a, on this page and let's click here on a inspect. You will see here your HTML code, all right, we, we just wrote, so you can see here HTML, here is a head with a title, my example HTML, and you, by the way, you can see this title in your tab, my example HTML, and here is your body, what we specified, H1 testing website. Perfect. So this is HTML that was actually rendered from your document. This is not actual HTML we provided to uh, this browser. When you want to see actual HTML, you just need to right click here and view page source. And you can see here is our HTML document we provided to this browser. And also when you inspect this uh, page again, you can right click here on a network tab and refresh this and you will see index.html was served to your browser. So you can click here on this and let's see here headers and you can see here request URL. Request URL is where a browser send a request and it's actually send a request to our computers and it asks for a, this file index.html we just provided here because here we are providing file in this URL. Usually, usually here you provide your website, for example, Google, Facebook, Medium, Gmail, doesn't really matter. You want to provide website and the browser will send a request to this URL you provide up here. But right now we are providing path to our file in our local computer. So this request is going to our users, Philip Bierga directory desktop, and it's asking for index HTML website, the document, and this document is provided to a browser. Browser, browser will read it and it will display its content on a screen. Perfect, so this is most basic example and let's a little bit extend it. So let's go to your coding editors and we can write here also JavaScript code. So I'll make this bigger and let's write here JavaScript. So after body, I will write script tag. So script tag and the scripts are for JavaScript. Okay, so here I can write, let's say console log 
hello world. So hello world. All right, I can create your variable, variable A, message, or actually not message variable, variable message I mean, and here I will assign a message. So let's say, hello, my computer. And then I can print this message so I can actually write here alert, alert this message. All right, I will save this. Let's go back to our browsers. Then I will refresh. My browser will ask for a new file, and actually for a same file, because they're asking for a same directory file here in desktop index.html, but it will be updated. Now you will see it will run some code, hello my computer. Also in a console you will see this code, hello world. Perfect, so everything is working. So there's a JavaScript, your browser also understands JavaScript, and it's running JavaScript code. All right? So we learned browsers understand HTML, it, they can run JavaScript code, and they also can uh, understand CSS code. So CSS is for stylings. So for example, I would like to style my H1 to red color or, or to blue color. I just need to create some styles for this. So when you will inspect this element, you can already see here some styles. When I will inspect this H1 in my HTML, HTML structure here, so I can make this bigger here. And you can see here, you can provide here some stylings down. For example, I can write here a color and I will assign here color red. This will change this H1 for a red color. How can I do it inside of my HTML document? Let's go back to our calling editors. And actually it's very simple. In a head tag, I will create a style like this. And I will say here that I want to target here my H1 element, so H1 element like this, and I want to get here a color of a red. Let's save this. Let's go back to our browsers. And let's refresh, and I will see that we are displaying here a red color. Amazing. All right, let's extend it. So let's go back to our calling editors. And I will introduce you classes in CSS. That's not very important and in scope of this lecture, but all right, I will explain you classes. So for example, I don't want to target only H1, but I want to target here a class of a title, and I want to every element with a class title to be red. So I can specify here color, color red. I will remove this H1, and then I will provide to my H1 class of a red. Well, oh, actually not the red, but a title. We specify title here, and then I will create here a second element. Let's say this will be H2, and this will be my testing website or my, my my testing header element like this and you will see that every element with a class title will have a red color so you can target multiple elements when you're providing classes okay so these classes but this is really not important in a scope of this lecture let's continue let's go back to our coding editors and let's create here more files because writing everything in one file is not very convenient and very readable and not very good practice so what we can do, we can separate these parts of this file into multiple other files. So I can create here a new file, and I will call it, let's say, index.js. You can call it as you want, index.js, or let's call it app.js, is better. And let's write here, let's actually copy everything from our script here. So I will copy all this code. Let's go to our app.js, and let's get it here. Perfect. So let's save this and let's go to our index.js and make sure your app.js in the same directory as your index.html. Index All of my files are now in a desktop directory. You can see desktop slash index.html and here desktop slash app.js. Okay, I'll create here one more file. So file, new file, and let's call this one app.css, app.css, and this is for cascade styles sheet, so this is for this uh, styling file, okay? Perfect, so now let's move this title, all right, I will move this title from here and I will provide it to app.css. Perfect, I hope this is visible for you, so we have here a title with a color of red, and we have a JavaScript file app.js with this code here. Now let's go to our index.html. Perfect, and uh, let's remove this style. I will provide here something else. I will provide here a link like this. This will be style sheet here and the type will be text slash scss and link to a file. Since we are in the same directory, for the same directory, you need to provide path of a dot and a slash and a name of your file you want to include here. And this, of course, app.css. 
All right, let's continue with the script. Okay, I will remove this from instead of a script like this. And I will provide here SRC property. And I will get here pub to my file. So this again, dot and a slash and the name of our file. So pub.js. Let's save this. Make sure all of your files are in the same directory. Let's go back to our browsers. Now when I will refresh this, you will see our code is run again. So let's see what happened now. I will open here my network. I will clear this out. Let's refresh. And now you will see multiple files here, multiple requests. OK, so first I ask for my index.html. This is my base file I'm always providing to my browser. OK, so index.html and index.html contain, let's see here, response, contain other links. So our browser is parsing this document and it's checking all, all of these lines here and it's get to this line, headline, link line and suddenly it will see href of a link and it's pointing to app.css. This means he's making requests to app.css. So as you can see, it's asking for this file here, users slash flibierga slash desktop slash app.css. And it's sending this file to a browser and it's opening, opening it here. You can see here also preview. Same will happen with our JavaScript file. So uh, here is response. It's uh, parsing this document and it sees script tag here with the src of app.js and it's sending request and it's getting our file here and you can see immediately after the refresh it's executing this file okay so what we learned in this lecture we learned that our browsers understand html documents they understand javascript and understand css code and we can create the simple files and we can display them into our browsers in the next lecture you will learn how all of this is connected to our view application and how it's possible that we are displaying our page on localhost 8080 because it's really, really connected everything together. All right, guys, and before we'll finish this lecture, I will show you something more. Just very quickly, let's open here new tab. Let's inspect this and let's open here network. And you can do it on any website you want. All right, so I will go to medium.com for a so blogging website and let's navigate to medium.com and let's see what will happen in our network tab. You can see we are sending requests to this website, medium.com, but there is a lot of stuff, right? But let's scroll up, up, up here, but let's see first request. First request here, medium.com. When we made this request to this website, let's see what we get here. Response, preview, and actually, this is not what I'm looking for. This is just a redirect, all right, my, my mistake. Let's take a look on a second one. Here is what you get. Response. And here is HTML document you are getting back here. This is much bigger than the I just showed you. And this is also uglified and minified file. So you can see all the spaces are removed. Everything is together and so on to increase performance and a loading time of this file. But this is basic HTML document you can see it may be better when you will right click here and view page source and yeah this is not very readable but this html document guys you are providing the browser and the browser is making requests to these other files included in this html file you can see there is a lot of stuff here css javascript codes images and so on so this was just a mini preview of medium okay so i will close this and with all of these guys, I hope to see you in the next lecture, very well talk about localhost 8080 and about view application and how it's all of this connected. So guys, see you there. Cheers.